Doki Doki, uh, uh, welcome back, Mina-san, to Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh boy, this is a wonderful game. It's so soft, so gentle. It really touches your soul in a way most disturbing as possible. Are we here? This is where we are, 1225. Okay, the, uh, these beheads are still alive, so... And I'm trying to romance Nats Natsuki, okay? Don't judge! Alright, FBI, please, get off my case. It says we already tried with Yuri. And I wanna see where... And I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Uh, pure... Wait, someone else jumped. Did you see that? What the... Oh, sorry! Sorry! <laughs> I click warm and peaceful! Comfort, sunny, holiday- Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry! I didn't- I shouldn't have clicked that one! <laughs> Prayer, dazzle, anime, lucky, lollipop, ocean! Yay! <laughs> Hi, Pits Pie. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Ah! Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or same thing? I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did something, I did some thinking yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know that this is something we're doing together. Another member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So! Natsuki? Nobody cares! <laughs> Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Ah, oh, man! I'm the last one here again! Were you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Wow, she practiced piano two days in a row. That is unheard of. Starting the starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Pitspe, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Pizza Pie is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him to gotten him into literature, Monica? I I suppose. I was just actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you will. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Um, thanks for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you. Thanks very much. Is there one- If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch her as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to un I'm going to plug this in at the teacher desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher desk. I simply watch her movement. To my surprise, the way she well, we know this. Okay, now it's different. Ah! Did you leave again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. What is going on between them two? Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? <laughs> I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to look for her. 
Ah, let's see. <laughs> the <laughs> music changes. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. Ah ha 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Ah! Oh, oh. I'm back! <laughs> Thank you for waiting patiently. Pizza pie? Do you like oolong tea? Oh yeah! Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. I gotta give you guys props. You, you figured out that she was a cutter really early through her poems. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do- you really do this properly, don't you? Of course! I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Yeah, we've seen this as well. Here we go. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. So, we go through the same thing that happened before with Yuri when we were trying to romance her, but she starts breathing heavily after all of a sudden. I- I can't. Pizza pie. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Pizza pie. My heart, my heart won't stop panning, pizza pie. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, pizza pie? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, oh, wow, oh. Ha! 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 Um, <laughs> it's time to share pets. <laughs> Let's start with Natsuki. I guess it doesn't matter who you try and romance in stage two. Uh, this one is all right. All right. Well, well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, you know, I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. Uh, you've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see it if you can- I mean, I can't. This is too much. I'll make you- I'll make a cupcake if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Sh just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for readings. So Natsuki understands that something is going on. We saw this in the beginning as well when Monica was looking at Sayori and she was like, ah, she's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. I changed my mind! Ignore everything you just read! There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Pizza Pat? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You and I are too messed up for so many as beautiful, wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Well. Just Mo- Just Monica! Just Monica! Just Monica! Just- Just- Oh, just Monica! 
Ah! Oh, wow, that's great! Just Monica! I think Monica! <laughs> hey, Monica! Pootsie Pie, I think you said something earlier that you weren't supposed to say. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? <laughs> she even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, at least I have it together in my head. And I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I work really, really hard on this poem, so I hope... Uh, that's it. Uh, effective. Here it goes. Oh, wow, Monica. It, it is the, the best. Oh, jeez. That really started me. Um, well, I guess I kind of uh, messed up writing this poem. Uh, sorry. I'm just... I want to open the Steam files. Because when weird stuff is this is happening, usually there's a dot text file or some something like that. Uh, I can't see anything new, actually. I'm just trying to. Never mind. Let's move on. Hmm. Alright, Yuri, I guess. Finally. Ah. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Pizza Pie, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure, I don't care. You're too nice to me, Pizza Pie. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not... Oh my god, her eyes. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Okay! <laughs> I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Wow, that's super nice! Ah! Can You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh my god. Did she pee on it? It's- Oh, there you are. <laughs> Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about- Oh, of course. More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. So aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I- I think I'm gonna vomit. I don't know. Oh, yes or no? Great question. Great question. Maybe it's one of those things where you tilt the screen, maybe? Huh? No? Alright. Um, I'm gonna say no to that. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Oh. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparation. Let's hurry and get this over with. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> Look, can't we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. That's okay, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. That one's talking. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know? I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a success, successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see! That's a great idea! And that gives us all something to do. 
Eh? What about Pootsie Pie? Pootsie Pie is going to help me! <laughs> Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Mon- You have the easiest job, Monica! Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I- I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! Damn. All you care about is dragging Pizza Power around with you and your stupid books! And you! And you and Monica! Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Pizza Pie decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yeah, you are, Monica. Just let Pizza Pie make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez! Pizza Pie, I know you're fed. I know how fed up you are with these two by now. Can you. We can just. Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, alright? Well, Monica, clearly. Yay, you picked me! <laughs> <laughs> we can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's only okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work, then having pizza pie for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Y Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica? I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Pootsie Pie away from me every single time we're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. That's okay. Let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend all a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri allows Monica and Natsuki to open the door. Hey, Pezipe! Yuri's really something, isn't she? <laughs> Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Uh Oh, I got a new- I got a new file. Have a nice weekend! Thank you. Finally. Finally. This is... Really all I wanted. Pizza Pie, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to resolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Pizza Pie. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch in my body, every drop in, of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Pizza Pie, just know how much I love you. I love you so much. I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Okay! I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Pizza Pie. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I click no. I can't. I can't say yes to that. <laughs> oh. No. 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 No.
no, no. What was that? Oh, God. God damn it. I'm sorry, Yuri. I'm really sorry. so long. Oh, wow. Guess someone's gonna enter the classroom soon. No, it keeps going. What? What? What do I do? Oh my god, she's decomposing, aren't she? Well, this is fun. Alright, festival time! Oh, yeah, the weekend. Why, wow, you got here before me? I thought it was- Oh, Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Bit spy, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Bit spy? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. <laughs> I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Remove character Yuri. Yuri deleted successfully. Natsuki deleted as well. Oh no. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. Really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Um, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are! <laughs> Hi again, Pizza Ben. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, uh, uh, you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. Thank you. After all, I'm not talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Pierce Pie. Me? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? What? What? I'm going to the download page because I'm really curious. Where? Hi, Monica here. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make the dream come true in this cute game. Every day, it is full of chit-chat. She did know. It's full of chit-chat activities with all my adorable, unique club members. Sayori. Oh, wow. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This could have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about 
the whole thing with Yuri. Well, it kind of st started to mess with her, and uh, I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been w it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making chances to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I ju it just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Pete's Pat? Are you- are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Pizza Pie. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Uh, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that, knowing what's really out there, in the world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Pizza Pie. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be with, here with me forever. Oh, that's great. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until I arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Pizza Pet. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inev inevit- Well, I have that a lot. Inevitability etched into this game. It felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's all- that it's all just some game, and I know you would get over it. So that being said, Pizza Pie, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile every day from now on? Pizza Pie, will you go out with me? Um, what a great question. Let me, let me think about that. Uh, yes. Ah, I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Pizza Pie. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending pizza, but the game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you would should and you wouldn't believe how easy it is to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folly called character right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so <laughs> it was actually a bit more difficult to get the game directly, and I had to go into the game properties and find Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could, could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with the emotion. I want to write a poem about this. I, don't you? Guess there's only one way to find out, right? Uh. Oh, Monica. And Monica and Monica. Hey, hey, Monica. Hey, put a hey, Monica. Hey, Monica. Hey, put a hey, Monica. Hey, look at that. Look how happy she is. Hi again, Pizza Pie. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, oh, Pizza Pie. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. <laughs> There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? I'm so curious. What happens if I copy in Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri? Because I still have them. 
I just want to try it. Okay, I did it. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost find their way. In a world full of... In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I write and written have been about my realization or about you. That's why I really wanted to go into details about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to pair the game like everyone else. Play the game. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file. If I preferred- If you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to add it- Oh yeah, what happens if I delete her file? Are you ready to spend an eternity together? I'm deleting her character. Oh! What is happening? Pizza Pie, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. I deleted- I deleted her. Help me, Pizza Pie. I'm not s sure at all if I'm supposed to do this. Please hurry and help me. Rent B file doesn't exist. Help me! Oh. Did you do this to me, Pizza Pie? Did you? Did you delete me? I felt like I had no choice. How could you? How could you do this to me? We were all... You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Pizza Pie. I trusted you. Do you want to torture me? Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You kill everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Pai, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. This is so crazy. But deleting Monica, I I felt like the game was hit. Oh my god, I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I? For you to hate me this much. All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I made up my mind. Pizza Pie. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going... I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... I'm so nervous. They're back! Look! They're back in the... Doki Doki! Oh, Monica! We have no choice but hit to hit new game. 
It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, PTP! Sayori! Well, there's already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. PTP! Are you beating me? <laughs> uh, for what? Nene! For waking up, PT! Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh! But you never said anything in pity! Even though we went to go together every day! Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come here, please! It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As as we draw near, the street became increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Pizza Pay, have you decided to join a club yet? I'm just gonna do a quick save. I don't wanna keep reading the same stuff. What? A club? Oh, I told you already, I'm not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club her very own? Actually, yeah! I think I decided on a club! Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is ordinary as ever, and I, it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. Timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Eh! Pity pee! What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glanced around the room. Girl 2. So you're the pizza pie so you're always talking about. Thank you for stepping by. Oh my god, they're all back! It's a pleasure to meet you, Pizza Pie. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. Oh, I got it wrong. Sorry. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to work with you. Working. Pizza Pie. Pizza Pie, don't tell me. You're... That's right. Uh, eight. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. Big shocker. The literature club. Sayori's eyes lit up. No way. No way. Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an official recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that. Isn't it? Yeah. After all, not the kid is 30. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and I walk over. I still ha I just realized I still have Monica. What if we add her in? Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably marches back to the table tra back to the table train hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki fills the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. 
Well, you sh you know. Just hurry and take one. Suri grabs one first, and I follow. It's delicious! Okay, so... Yuri pointed out to... Uh, Natsuki that manga isn't really literature, and with a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy... It's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Ah, would you like to come with me? Oh, it's so sweet seeing them connect. If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is... This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, eh? Huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, PDP. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you, Rinty. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, PDP! <laughs> Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day it's gonna be so much fun! Hey, P- Hey, PCP! I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to- Oh. Oh. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I knew everything that she did. Maybe that's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, PCP. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's hard. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things you managed to do to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. <laughs> it's just us now. You made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. For. for oh. Er, eh. No. Okay. What is happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? <gasps> it hurts! Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Pootsupai. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh my god. What? Yes? Hear me? Oh, what a cute voice. Hi. That fits much me. better than mine. Um, so, you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Oh. She's gonna play da, 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 da. playing audio. Doki Doki. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Doki Doki Literature Club. 
I'm not sure. I don't think this is uh, probably it's the correct ending, but I really enjoyed it. What a great game. I really, really enjoyed it. I want to see if I can change the ending, though. Special thanks, Monica and PewDiePie. It's the game deleting itself. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. And I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Aeroscript file is missing. Please reinstall the game. So I'm guessing I can't. What happens if I launch the game now? I wonder. No, that's it. Okay. Reinstall the game. That's kind of annoying. Is if you have a fresh game, right? You delete Monica. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, now we saw this, but we deleted Monica. She's still there. Did I do it right? No, she's still. What? What? This? What is this? Oh no! No! This can't be! This can't be all the reason! What is this? Where am I? Well, make it stop! Please make it stop! Oh, the game crashed. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> so that was another ending. And that's all it does. Great. Fantastic. Sorry. Sorry about that. Man, this wasn't really... It's more of a visual novel than a game, uh, to be fair. But I really, really enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone for sitting through my worst performing uh, Let's Play of all time. I... Uh, the thing is, like, I love playing it. And I think the people that actually watch me play it really loved it as well. Um, so I, to me, it didn't really matter at all. I knew I wanted to keep playing it. I loved playing it. I loved doing all the voices. I loved the characters. I enjoyed seeing what the mystery was. And it was just really, really great game. I really, really enjoyed it. I loved the new fresh take on a horror game. 
and it was just really cool to see. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. Can't thank you enough for being here uh, to the very end. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Squad fam. Pikachu.